everyone welcome to the channel to understand the concepts very clearly please watch the video till the end once you are done with watching the video do not do not forget to like comment subscribe and hit the bell icon now let's go and see what is it that we're gonna learn today it's proc freq processor frequency so what does it do it basically counts the frequencies that is how many times a particular thing occur in your data this is what we find using this processor let's look at the data set this is what we're gonna use throughout this session this is the data we will be using and using this data we need to achieve all these reports all these individual reports first we would check the frequency based on city then we would try to find uh, two dimensional reports of frequencies then we will try to find the conditional frequency and we we would also try to see only frequencies as you can see along with frequency we it says gives us many other information which are not actually required so we would also see how to eliminate the non-required informations let's go ahead and see the things so this is the data and first thing which we're gonna achieve which we need to achieve is this this is the table you have and you need to check how many times a particular city occurs for example if you look at here London so how many times does it occurs in your table it occurs five times in your table this this is how you can know how many times a particular kind of observation or particular kind of value occurs in your data and this is why we use the processor frequency it's a very useful processor which we are tend to use very frequently in our day-to-day -day job so how, the question is how to achieve this frequency how to achieve this information think of a case where you had to achieve this thing in excel and you did just a pivot you had this data and you uh, and you did a pivot and know how many times a particular thing is occurring in your data so let's go and see how do we use the pivot and how is this proc different from that so here we have the data we just do a pivot here we go to the data tab and just we click pivot sorry it's on insert tab, tab pivot i'm tend to do this thing through keyboard that's why so here we just click the pivot and because we need to check how many times a particular city occurs so we need to just drag and drop the city over here and over here to check a count so this is how you get the frequency of each of the city in your data now how would you do that in sas let's look at the syntax how are we gonna do that in sas so here first you would be writing proc and then you need to provide a processor name what is the processor name going to be guess it yes you are right it's gonna be freq all right and then you need to provide data option then you are gonna provide the input data in our case our input data is going to be my lib dot customer details and keep in mind that always you have to end a line with semicolon then you need to provide a statement what is that statement you need to provide tables you have to say based on what variable as in excel you dragged city and dropped it in rows label the same thing you need to provide with tables all right so just see the variable name we need to provide over here again followed by semicolon and then just type run and you would have this information available with you let's go and try to do this thing in sas proc freq then data and then need to provide library and then the table and we're gonna say you just use ct variable 
and give me the frequency click run button here you can see the frequency now let's look at this frequency the all which you need is this information these all are not actually required to you these all are saying what is the percentage of this how much information does this uh, this city has i mean how many times this is occurring uh, out of the total data right this kind of information it says which which is not very frequently required so you can eliminate that let's look how we can eliminate that let's go to the next chapter or maybe next lesson so here we have the data and now we need to achieve only frequency all right how we can do that so here you have the syntax which you wrote over here you just wrote this over here the only thing which is different from there is this forward slash and then you need to provide these two options one is no percent and then no come come stands for cumulative right so if you can see at the result here you have a percent column and two cumulative columns so you are asking sas to eliminate these two things so no percent no come let's try this in our code so the thing which we need to provide is forward slash no percent and no come all right and then just hit the run button here you go you don't have any other things so this is how you can use these options to eliminate the unnecessary columns let's look at the next thing here we have the data in previous thing we just saw how we can get the frequency based on one column now we're gonna try two dimensional frequency report so the first dimension is going to be our city and the second dimension is going to be the country now we need to check what are the observations which are coming in this city and in this country how many observations are common in this similarly how many observations are in this city and in this country zero observations all right so this is what we're gonna try to find let's look at the syntax how we're gonna write this syntax the syntax is going to be same as it was previously all right so let me just show you first then i'll take you through that for now i'll just remove this and let's try the two-dimensional thing country now here you have the result you can see this city for, with the combination of this country has one record this city with the combination of this has one record similarly it goes on right but what is the problem with this it's not making the report very effective so what's the problem with this report these unnecessary informations how you can eliminate this information what all are these informations so these are percent row percents and column percents so these three things you need to eliminate over here so that's what we have tried to explain to you over here so how we can uh, do two dimensional things by eliminating the unnecessary columns so first thing previous as as you used this syntax in previous exercise similarly you have to write this syntax and then the extra thing which you are doing over here is putting the first dimension which was common in previous exercise also and then the additional thing which is happening over here is the asterisk you put an asterisk after the first dimension variable all right and then you put the second dimensional variable and then you put this thing which you tried in the previous exercise now additional thing which you are going to put over here additional option which you're going to put over here is are no row and no columns so these two things you put and you get the report like this we just tried it over here so you can i encourage you to please try this as you follow the video all right let's go and see now next thing we're gonna see conditional frequency now we need to find the frequency but with a condition now we we saw how we can find the frequency based on country i mean what uh, uh, how many times a particular country occur how many times a country occur along uh, along with city or the vice versa all right now this time we're gonna say check the city 
check the check the occurrences of the ct but only when the transaction amount is greater than 500 all right greater than 500 then only give me the frequency of a particular city so if you look at london for london we have these many frequencies one we have these many frequencies one two three four five but here it shows zero there are two reasons for that because here i'm trying to look at belgium and then finland now it comes under uk in uk you can see the it has five entries but it say it says over here it gives you only two entry all right why is it so because the entries which has value greater than or equals to 500 those are only two one is here 607 and other one is here 607 so these two entry is calculated under this so this kind of information you can get with the help of this syntax let's analyze the syntax the rest of the part is same just this is the addition where clause as you have used the where clause in data steps I have explained this where clause in previous videos. If you have not seen it yet, I recommend you to just go and watch my previous video. Link is showing at the top right corner. Please click that link and you can watch the video. You just need to provide a where clause followed by a variable name and the logical operation and the value based on which you want to put the logic followed by a semicolon. So this is what you need to provide. Let's go to this app session and try doing this okay first we gonna see we gonna apply all these options no print sorry no percent it says no percent then no call then no row all right number of rows and number of columns it says all right now also we need to provide the condition the condition says transaction amount should be either greater than or equals to the 500 all right now you just need to click the run button here you can see it's the same result what we saw over here what we had over here so these are the most frequently used options with proc frequency options or clauses or whatever you say but there are many more if you are interested i suggest you to go to the sas documentation link which we have provided in the description and learn as much as possible so this is what i wanted to explain you thank you very much for watching the video wish you very good luck